Hey folks, uh, in case my boundless enthusiasm for the Apple IIGS has not gotten tiresome by now, today I'm here to show you a very, very special treat, because today I'm here to show you one of the most awesome programs that, uh, that you could ever possibly conceive of, uh, or, well, I, obviously that's a subjective statement, and I'm sure that I'll get very excited about it and other people will not care, but that's life, right? Um, you can see I'm using ROM version 3 for this. I believe the program will work with ROM version 1 as well, but I think it crashes uh, somewhere into the uh, into the program, so it, it works better with ROM version 3. There is actually um, an older version, a monochrome version of this program, which uh, works well with ROM version 1, uh, but I'm going to be using the newer version because it has color. This this is high technology, folks. I mean, this this has color. Like, you're putting color on a computer screen. You cannot get more high tech than that. This is the pinnacle of achievement. There There is no purpose in making any more computer software after this program because this is just the height of, of human attainment. Uh, I'm also going to be running this at um, the actual system speed of two and a half megahertz instead of the uh, as fast as possible speed that's that kegs is capable of just because i want to kind of savor the experience so let's go uh what i'm going to be showing you today oh look at that that progress bar that's so awesome oh that 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 is just mesmerizing i i, I cannot I, I can hardly contain my excitement it's it's so it, okay uh, and it's welcoming us because it's uh, it's very welcoming. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is the um, what's called the tour of the uh, the, the program is really literally just called the tour of the Apple IIGS. As you can see the text there, your tour of the Apple IIGS is getting ready to begin. A lot of information is being transferred from the disk into the computer's memory, and this will take a while. So for the next two or three minutes, sit back and relax. Put your feet up. When you hear the music, you'll know the tour is about to start. Unfortunately. Um, this is not accompanied by the actual sounds of the disk drive moving and beeping, which is kind of unfortunate because these days, you know, you don't really get a lot of insight as to what your disk drives are doing. They're they're sort of uh, masked or hidden from the user, which which is very unfortunate. I, I appreciate organic technology that actually shows you what it's doing, um, but you know, it's kind of it's kind of like Wireshark, and any computer connected to the internet should have Wireshark running on it at all times. I'm still stunned by the people who go online and don't know what Wireshark is. It's almost like, it almost seems to me like not having an oscilloscope. It's like every house, you, you wouldn't want to live in a, in a house without an oscilloscope in it because otherwise you won't know what your electricity is doing. You can't see the electrons unless you have a, a scope to look at them with. So I don't know. I miss the, the actual floppy disk drives that actually you could kind of tell what they were doing, but oh, it's beginning. I'm going to keep quiet during the music so you can appreciate the music because this music is awesome. there you go. And uh, so what this program is, is um, basically it's, it's an introduction to the computer for, uh, for people who are not familiar with computers and need an introduction. Um, and you can tell it's, it's a good Apple program from the time when Apple made good hardware and software because it's still the rainbow colored Apple logo. If, if you see any product on it with that original rainbow Apple logo, then you know it's, it's good and you should, you should use it. Uh, anything with the contemporary Apple logo, which is just kind of this silver sheen sort of thing, it, it, pure garbage. Don't don't even contemplate it. It's it's absolutely not worth any mind space whatsoever. Um, and yeah, this. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, follow the instructions. Let's move the mouse on the table. Wow, look, the it moves the pointer around. I mean, imagine this being your first experience using a computer, and you think, wow, this is this is great. The the arrow moves when I move the mouse. Is, is that exciting or what? I can, I can point to the snake over here. I can point to this butterfly. I can point to the computer in the middle. 
it's, it's it's like oh what's this numbers now point to each of these signposts in order point to the first signpost which is the first one i guess the one with the number one on it oh there we go oh point to the second signpost oh oh wow and and it makes that little ding dong sound effect in the background that's so awesome and it flashes at you if you're not sure if you don't know numbers and you're not sure which one to point to next I guess four is over here, okay. Oh, uh, I soiled myself. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Well, we're about to explore Apple IIgs territory with Ernest the Explorer and his trusty companion, Robin the Robot, who appears to be holding a candle to light the way. But you need to master a few important skills before you set out. You've learned the first one already, pointing. Let's point to the forward arrow to get started. Wow. I can feel the excitement. This is going to be so great. Um, oh, this is the dreaded mouse tunnel. By helping Ernest through it, we'll learn the skills we need for the trip ahead. All right, let's go. Begin by pointing at Ernest at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom right of the screen, actually. Then move the pointer along the tunnel. Be prepared for hazards. Oh, look. He, 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 he moves as you move the mouse. This is, this is technology at its finest, folks. You cannot get better than this. Look at this. Wow. Okay. Um... Are we supposed to go into the water there? Uh oh. Uh, look! Look at that picture. Look at that ultimate scene of of human despair and suffering. You you cannot. This 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 picture is a masterpiece. It should it should be framed and put on somebody's wall. Uh, to get to rescue Ernest, we need to click the mouse button. Oh, it teaches us how to. Press the button on the mouse, because, you know, on the Apple IIgs, yes, there was still the, the one-button mouse. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's move along. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bats! Oh, no! It's... it's... vampires. We need to get them out of the way by clicking on them, because, you know, you can get rid of bats by clicking on them like that. All right. Wow, this... this is exciting. It's like an arcade sequence on the Apple IIgs. Yes. I mean, how could... Oh, man, that's... that's so awesome. This This is just... Wow. Oh, keep your eyes peeled. There might be more obstacles ahead. All right. That sounds painful, but I'll, tr I'll try. Oh, we go up the ladder. What? No, he fell down. He fell off the ladder. How could this happen? Dripped. He lost his hat, his shoe, and his tie. How, how did he... How did he lose like the, the front portion of his tie? Or is, or is it just not showing the part that wraps around his neck? I don't know. Uh... Oh, this is dragging. Look, it, it teaches us dragging. You have to move your pointer to one of the fallen objects, then you click, and you hold down the mouse button and put the object back where it belongs. It doesn't tell you where they belong. I guess you just have to sort of infer that. I guess his hat goes on his head. It looks like his shoe goes there, and his tie go, goes right there. Oh, no, it doesn't. It goes up here. Okay. Well, that went well. He climbs the ladder automatically. You don't even have to make him do it now. It's it's on autopilot. The, it, this is this is automation, folks. This is the way of the future. All right, there's still a little way to go. Um, uh -oh. I figured he was going to say uh oh when he ran into the gate. That was just sort of a dead. That was just a dead giveaway at that point. The locked gate. Oh man, this is this is an uh oh for sure. All right, the locked key is somewhere in his knapsack because somehow he just managed to get a key from somewhere. Uh, move. The, okay, so move the pointer to the knapsack. What's the difference between a backpack and a knapsack, anyway? In civilized countries, I think we just call this a backpack. Anyway, uh, press and hold the mouse button, and... Oh, look, it's it's the key! Let's release the mouse button. We found the key! Or, or is that the key, or was that something else? No, we, it, it was the key. We're almost there! Let's go! Oh, oh this is so exciting. Oh. Time for good measure. They high fived each other. There you go. And I think that's it. Uh, and then if you point to the arrow, it starts telling you. Yeah, then it gives you this boring word processor screen. Nobody cares about a word processor, although yeah, I guess I guess in 1988 and 1989, this was still pretty high tech to have a, a word processor on a computer like this. A word processor with a picture of a bat. That's pretty awesome. Anyway. I just wanted to share that with you folks. If This program is actually fairly extensive. It has different sections teaching you word processing, spreadsheets, databases. Um, there's even a brief introduction to programming. 
Uh, it's pretty awesome, and you know, it, it's it all seems like pretty basic stuff to us today. But imagine, you know, somebody who has never used a computer before. You don't have software like this today. Computers don't come with programs like these today because everybody just assumes that you know how to write your own kernel and compile it and and that kind of thing. And it just computers were more human back then. This was like I said, this was back when Apple really did good things, and this this is definitely a great Apple product. See. Rainbow colored Apple logo. That's that's your sign that this is quality product. Um, this 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 computer did not lose its reception if you put your hand in the wrong place. In fact, you could put your hands all over it and it would keep working. All right, um, and I know this for a fact because I did it myself. Anyway, uh, I'm out of time, so it's time for me to go. But as usual, thanks for watching, folks, and putting up with my uh, enthusiasm or whatever. Goodbye, everyone.